This was uh, Rosa Vermelha, the Red Rose, written by one very important name of our Portuguese literature, José Carlos Alexandre, with a music composed by Alain Ma. He was the, one of the favorite composers of our diva, Amalia Rodrigues. He did compose this music for her, and I just decided to steal it from her. <laughs> This next father will is, is called Brante de Morosent. Um, it was written and composed by the same friend, Paulo Valentin, that wrote the first father that we sing tonight. Brante de Morosent.
have to recover the breath. Um, this uh, last father that I'm going to sing before singing with this magnificent orchestra and being conducted by this amazing Maestro Dario Salvi is quite amazing, isn't he? I'm now a big fan of him. He just came from Scotland and we are having for the first time this experience. So we have a lot to share. <laughs> uh, but, but this last father is called Candiria. Who would say? It's a story of a, a young woman. She is in the middle of the traffic trying to find her destiny. She's driving a car that's it's not hers, it's from the company. She doesn't exactly know the buttons of the car. Uh, and the GPS is not working. So she needs some help. She asks help from a gentleman she uh, finds in the street. And of course, as every man do, he makes fun of her which is not good. Um, but she's talking about the
most beautiful declaration of love, not to you, uh, that was written by a very important name of Portuguese culture, Mr. Vasco Graça Moura. The music was composed by Tiago Tencourt, and all the arrangements that we are going to perform together are uh, by Lin Guerrero. The, the next uh, fado, it is called Mentiras, Lies. Uh, it's a story of, a, uh, a, once again, a girl that has been cheated by her husband. Every day he comes home and he tells her a lie. Uh, one day she's so upset that she, for instance, he tells her that she's going, he's going out to uh, pick up some money at the bank. But the mother of the girl finds him giving a kiss to another girl called Maria. You always have to be careful. There are Marias everywhere. <laughs> Not that not all the Marias are like that. Well, anyway, <laughs> my mother is a Maria and she's not like that. No. Um, the thing is that one day she begs for the truth. She asks him to be honest. And uh, his answer is even worse. He says, it's not my fault that Maria is so spectacular. Poor girl. <laughs> You didn't know this story, did you? You did, of course, you did. Well, uh, but the girl, she's so in love with him that she decides uh, to ask him one last thing. Please don't stop telling me lies because your truth can kill me. And who else in the world to compose a funny melody for this tragic story than Pedro de Castro?
I grew up uh, in the middle of the, the Atlantic Ocean, where the sea has such a dark color, a dark blue, where the nature, for me, is a special moment that God decided to give to that place. And one day I decided to ask uh, a very good friend, a wonderful artist, Bald Carvalho, to help me compose and write a song that could be my declaration of love to that magnificent place uh, of Portugal, those nine islands in the middle of the ocean. And he offered me this song called Nove Amores, Nine Loves. Yeah. 
Let me sing you to the moon. Let me be who I am. Let my pain come out, even if it's in tears. This pain is mine. Don't force me to follow your rules. I don't have any rules. This is a poem that was written by Amalia Rodriguez. Quero cantar para a lua. I want to sing to the moon. The composer is once again Pedro de Castro.
I have to come back to Zagreb. <laughs> Once again, the poem was written by Amalia Rodriguez. The music was composed by Carlos Gonçalves, one of her favorite Portuguese guitar players. It is called Amor de Mel, Amor de Fel. Sweet love, bitter love, and let me dedicate this Father, to each of you in this room for these amazing emotions that I'm going to bring home, back home. Thank you so much.
poema que não escrevo, mas é meu. Olha o vento que se estende no caminho e ensaia a tua ânsia de voar. It's a poem that was written by a very good friend of mine, Elder Martin, and the music was composed by Paul Valentin, another good friend of mine. But before uh, interpreting the next father, I want to introduce you to um, the second family in my life, these magnificent musicians I have with me, uh, in the, the acoustic bass. Francisco Gaspar. In the classic guitar, André Ramos. And in this magnificent instrument that is traditional uh, of our country, the Portuguese guitar, Pedro Castro. Mas tu sou o meu anjo, mas tu sou o meu anjo, tu 
important names um, in our father culture of Fredor Sner, Fat Pierre with a poem that talks about us having always troubles in our lives and we are all struggling to keep them away. We raise up and we fight again and then we fall
after making fun of her, he starts to, you know, be polite and to impress her. And at the end, they fall in love and they stay together for the rest of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> so who would say, in the middle of the, tra the traffic, two people could fall in love? Uh, and after a story like that, I wouldn't fall in love with a guy like that. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> Uh, the music and the, the, the text was written by uh, a very talented young man uh, in Portugal, José Rebola. Uh, and, uh, uh, well, let's play it.
a very good friend uh, 
some years after we, we've been without seeing each other, we, we found one another in a coffee shop close to my house. And we stood for hours and hours uh, talking, chatting. And I remembered that he used to write beautiful poems. And I asked him, do you have a poem for me to sing? And he said, well, in fact, I do. I wrote a poem specifically for a traditional uh, melody of Fado, which is Fado de Replicado. Uh, and I'm going to send it to you. When I got that uh, poem, the first conclusion, conclusion was, well, this is typically uh, written by a, a philosopher. Usually it's philosophers think, 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 and sometimes there are no conclusions at all. <laughs> Although philosophy is very important in our lives, and I, I'm in love with it. Uh, he was a, an amazing teacher, I must say. Well, what does this talk about? It talks about the contrarieties of, of, uh, of our lives. That, uh, for instance, like uh, we found ourselves uh, trying to do things that we don't realize that as we get old we cannot do it. Our mind wants to do something, but our body doesn't matter. That's okay. <laughs> There's no conclusion about this. That's it, isn't it? So now, over uh, fat triplicat with this poem written by Rui Machado, Fado dos Contrários. I'm going to dedicate this to you, Maestro Dario Salvi. Yes! <laughs> Yeah. 